Story time. I'm in a long distance relationship and I don't know if I should break up with this boy or not. So a little background information, him and I were best friends for almost a month before we started dating. And literally as soon as we started dating, he started asking me for nudes. And I would be like, no, not tonight, I'm tired. And then he would keep asking me why. And then he would start to make me feel guilty about not wanting to send him nudes. Eventually he would just say, it's fine, I'll just wait until we can do physical things together. And he still has, quote, his hose on Snapchat. And he still has all of their nudes and everything. And literally the day before we started dating, he told me that he liked this one girl. And he'll always hang up the phone to talk to her instead of me. And then when I bring it up, he tries to say that he's... So obviously I try and bring this up to him. And he tries to make me feel bad by saying that he thinks about unaliving himself. He also has a few other red flags. So like I said, he says he always thinks about unaliving himself. So obviously I feel bad for him and I just love him so much that I can't let him go. And he has a bunch of other red flags. Like he'll tell people he's 13 and other people he's 14. And you know, he apparently didn't know his birthday. Well, fast forward, he's been texting me more and when I told him I loved him, he left me on open, which he never does. He always says it back to me. We still haven't really been talking on the phone, but I did send him pictures. Not fully nude, but both times I sent those, he literally called me right after. But other than that, he will never call me. Story time about how my sister sold my nudes. Yes, my own sister. So a little background information, I was in 12th grade and I was pretty popular. And my sister on the other hand, she was in 9th grade. I'm not even saying this to boost my ego, but she was jealous of me and everybody could tell. Mainly because of the fact that she didn't have her high school glow up, you know, she low-key still looked like a 6th grader. And there were very few guys who gave her attention and some of the guys would even tell her that I was hotter than her. But that did not help the situation at all. Not like I even paid attention to any of these guys because I had a boyfriend. And my sister and I still shared a room even though our brothers got their own rooms. So she could literally go through my shit anytime she wanted. Well, since we shared a room and I never thought that she would sell my nudes, times I would take these exposing pictures of myself while she was in the room. Well, she had this one friend named Jessica who also was weirdly obsessed with me. One night she was saying how funny it would be to sell someone's nudes. So like I said, my sister had this friend and the one night they were talking about how funny it would be to sell somebody's pics. We all laughed, joked about it, the conversation was over and done with. I thought that was it. Like in all honesty, I thought it was one of those things where you guys make plans to do something and then after the conversation, you never talk about it again and you never actually do what you said you were gonna do because it was so out of pocket. So my sister's friend slept over that night and I woke up, went to school earlier because I have volunteer work to do. So my sister usually just takes the bus. Well, I accidentally left my computer at school. So I called my sister, asked her if she could grab it and bring it into school. Now, my computer is connected to my phone. Well, I guess they decided to be little creeps and they went on my computer and they found my pictures and they sent them to themselves. And since my phone and computer are hooked up, I was able to see that they sent the pictures to themselves. So I start blowing up her phone, but by first period, I had a bunch of people telling me that they were about to buy my pictures. My sister literally made an ad and put it on Snapchat. Am I the asshole for mentioning my best friend's former crush on me in a speech at his wedding? For backstory, I, female 27, met one of my best friends, Christian, male 26, back in 2010 during our freshman year of high school. We became friends and remained close over the years since, making a lot of great memories and sharing mutual close friends. From 2013 to 2016, Christian had pretty serious, unrequited feelings for me. However, he eventually got over me and I had never even let his feelings harm our friendship. If anything, our friendship honestly got closer after he got over me. In early 2018, Christian met Victoria, female 29, at a bar and they hit it off. They started dating after two weeks, got engaged in late 2021, and the wedding happened yesterday night. It was honestly a great time as I watched with my parents and mutual friends as this kid I've known for 12 years was getting married to the love of his life. Plus, Victoria and I honestly had a pretty decent relationship. And according to Christian, she didn't really seem to care about his past feelings as time went on. Anyways, as the night kept going with a lot of music and dancing, I got up to eventually give a speech for Christian. I talked about how we first met, how much our lives changed since then, and just how great of a person Christian was. The attendees were clearly touched, and Christian and Victoria both looked happy. As I talked more about our history, I jokingly mentioned how Christian had the hots for me, but that didn't matter because he found his soulmate and that our friendship was stronger than some unrequited feelings. 
Most of the crowd laughed, and I could even see Christian smiling for a second before seeing Victoria's confused face. After the speech was over, I went over to the bar with a few friends. Christian came up and hugged me, thanking me for the speech. However, at our hotel, one of my other best friends, Devin, female 27, told me she had heard gossip from the bridesmaids that Victoria was really upset for me for bringing up Christian's previous feelings for me at their wedding. Apparently, Victoria genuinely had no issue with Christian's feelings, but felt it was inappropriate to mention them at the wedding. I sincerely intended no harm with my actions. Maybe I didn't read the room? Everyone I've told is honestly split on whether I'm the bad guy or not, so it's definitely been polarizing. Christian hasn't mentioned any of this to me, and I'm not sure I should ask him. So, am I the asshole? Am I wrong for eating my husband's entire birthday cake by myself? I'll preface this by saying that my husband's family and I don't get along. Like, at all. We're rarely ever on good terms, and for my mental health, I decided to put distance between us especially after I was blamed for my most recent miscarriage that happened three months ago. My husband can still see them and visit them whenever he wants. For me, I don't attend any of their events, not even Thanksgiving nor Christmas. My husband's 30th birthday was two days ago. I planned to celebrate with him. I bought a cake and a gift, but he said that his family invited him to celebrate his birthday and he really, really, really wanted to go because the birthday parties his family throw are like no others. We had an argument over this, but he told me to wait for him till he finished celebrating there with his family, then we could celebrate together at home and eat a cake. After he left, I felt so terrible. I called him, but he turned his phone off. I was so mad, I took the cake and brought it into the living room and started eating from it. I ate the whole thing, not saving him a single piece. Guess I was so angry and it made me hungry. He came home and saw what I did and blew up saying I did this to be spiteful and to punish him for not ditching his family on his birthday like I wanted him to. I reminded him that I paid for the cake, but he called me petty and nuts. He ranted and ranted and said that he didn't get to eat cake at his parents' house because a lot of kids were there and he didn't get enough cake and what I did was 10 times worse. He's been upset with me ever since, so am I wrong? Am I wrong for throwing my wife a birthday party and royally pissing my mom off? My wife and I are currently staying with my parents because we just couldn't afford the cost of living in this area. We are both currently looking for better jobs and or something cheaper, but it is what it is right now. My mom and wife share a birthday and there aren't words for how much my mom hates this. There were lots of wedding in the beginning, jokes about can I just get a new girlfriend and as of right now, she does her best to avoid my wife the entire week of the shared birthday. Outside of that, she's a decent mother-in-law, mostly pleasant to her, but their relationship is surface level, and they both could do without the other. My mom is currently at home recovering from surgery from a torn ACL, so she isn't doing much this year, though my dad got her cake, food, and easily thousands of dollars worth of presents. Okay, so her birthday is very important to her, I see. My wife has been feeling pretty down due to our living situation and some external factors, and I wanted to cheer her up. I asked my dad if we could have some people over. He said yes, but to be fair, I didn't specify it was for a birthday party. I'm not sure he even remembered it was my wife's birthday as he is totally disinterested in her and he was in the middle of doing stuff for my mom who was acting very princessy about her surgery. I invited our closest friends and set up a nice little party for my wife. At some point, my mom did come down and realize what was going on. I saw her look at the decorations and cake and she looked pissed. My dad quickly ushered her away and promised they would go out when she was better, but she said it wouldn't count. My dad came back and muttered to me that I'm an asshole for doing this and called me insensitive and a mooch. He's a mooch? Really, dad? When you're the one who's buying her thousands of dollars worth of gifts and like protecting your donor doesn't even exist, but he's the mooch? Okay. He came out an hour later and shut the party down as he claimed we were being too loud. I don't think we were, but it was getting late, so I didn't mind too much. My wife loved it and had a great birthday. I fully intended on cleaning up myself but was too tired to do it that night. My mom came down in the morning and saw the things still up and got pissy again. I was in the process of cleaning them and told her not to worry I would take care of it. She just glared at me and stormed off. My dad came back down and berated me for throwing it in my mom's face that my wife got a birthday party and she didn't and told me he can't stand me and can't wait for us to leave. I told him they are both being crazy and my mom doesn't own the date. He shot back that I tricked him as he didn't realize it was a birthday party, to which I laughed and said maybe he should know his own daughter-in-law a bit better. He complained to some family and now my aunt and her husband are calling me an asshole as well. To be clear about the mess, my mom only cared because she saw birthday stuff. She has never in her life cared about a mess. She once threw a handful of glitter in her own living room. I only brought it up to let her know I wasn't planning on leaving it for the housekeeper as I thought that would be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. 